Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new game to the channel, Battlestar Galactica. So, just recently I put out a little community post asking what people would like to play, or for me to play, on the channel. And there were two games that uh, got quite high and um, were close on winning. One was Battlestar Galactica and the other was... Battle Lords 2. So I will look at playing that game as well. And those, these are the two games I wanted to play anyway, kind of thing. And stay. The fact that you guys chose them means it's a good thing. And hopefully you guys will watch it and enjoy it. And I have not actually played this game, so I don't know everything about it. And my knowledge of Battlestar Galactica is a little bit rusty. I have just watched the first season again. And there was a few bits that I didn't, couldn't even remember hap happening the first time around I watched it. I'm pretty sure I've watched it. Although, because I... Uh, there's a few bits that I forgot. Maybe I didn't watch the whole series. Of, season. Series. Anyway, uh, that's my back history of Battlestar Galactica. Let's uh, jump into the campaign. We have only got Deadlock at the moment, so that's all I'm going to be playing. And I've done the tutorials, they all make sense to me. Uh, difficulty, Lieutenant Commander Admiral. Uh, persistent damage. Damage on capital units will persist between battles until repaired. Uh, crew veterancy. Colonial and Cylon capital ships crews gain experience which with every battle they survive. Yeah, let's go for that. Because obviously the more battles everyone's in, the better. Uh, persistent damage. Yeah, I, I want to do it. I honestly want to do it. So let's do it. That uh, just means I've got to repair everyone. After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on PyCon. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. So I'm in charge of everything. That's not good. Pycon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. 
I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. And yeah, let's proceed. So I love the fact that they call them toasters. They're, they're, they're not. They're very much more than a toaster, but it's a, it's a stupid nickname and I like it. And this kind of fills in some background history that I wasn't aware of either how the rebellion started so this is during the rebellion the it's first time rebellion to make our presence known in this war commander i trust you won't need my instruction twice tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy okay so yeah go there Proceed go when there you're confident with your commands Go there, go there. And do we have... Okay, so... I don't have options of those or the thrust. Okay, so let's just enter. Our ships use fire control systems to automatically target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets yep. will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. Yep, makes sense. So we gotta get you close. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Uh, press the space. So... But, yeah, I can't press anything though. Okay, right click on the unit and select it. So right click, space, turrets. Focus fire. On that guy and can I do the same here turrets focus fire on that guy yeah we need to close in yes sir and you want to intercept a little bit cool done how much damage is it taking? It's taking damage. It's not got through to hull yet, sadly. Sir, uh -oh. we've got a new Dreadus contact. Uh oh, we're not outnumbering them anymore. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. Once identified, select an enemy unit to see data. Understood. These Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus your turrets on one side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. All right, can I? So, ah, yes, guided yes, missiles, that's what I wanted. Guided missiles, done. So let's see if Missiles that helps. Incoming. Uh oh, no, 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 that's not good. Commander, your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. That's fine, right. Now we're gonna... Um... Why can I not multi-select? Right, so I've got to do it individually. That's fine. So... Repairs... It's got a little bit of damage. Okay, that's done. Can I... Turrets. Cancel target. Focus fire on this guy. Because he's closer, we'll do more damage. Uh, posture. No, that's not the right one. But it's a good one to know about. Uh, cancel target. Focus fire on this guy. And then... there and you're gonna go sweeping around no, this way so we can broadside him maybe I don't I don't think that's actually a thing I think we've got front and rear firing arcs no side firing arcs oh, don't 
crash. Okay, so that guy's gone. Awesome. Subsystem is back online. Press M for tactical map. Yep. We know we know where the one target is, that's good. And yeah, keep focus firing. You bring it around. So say we all. And keep going. Ah, one thing I need to do is repair. Keep repairing so that we don't have damage between battles. Alright, so his top has taken a lot of damage. And that should give us a good firing pass. Yeah, you're good there. Uh, so, let's see. Repairs. Done. Uh, one more turn for that. Turrets. Okay, that's good. You. Repair. I think. Yeah, there's no damage there. That's fine. So, end turn. We've got no missiles on you either because I fired them both on the same turn. Oh, getting through to hull. Subsystem is back online. There we go. Right, so good damage there. Swing you in behind. Lovely stern chase. We should have missiles. There we go. On both guys. And right, you're full on health. Your bottom is damaged, but it's not giving me an option to repair anything there, so we'll just have to we'll just have to put up with that damage for now. Uh, missiles, missiles away. One missile coming in on you. Uh, we held that damage. That's fine. So what are you looking like? Okay, so I think we just keep chasing them down. We've got a few missiles still coming in. We're going in. Targeting. So we got this. There we go. Two ships down. Is that everything? Is that everyone? All hostile contacts it are down. Is. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. No, it's fine. Uh, right, so we're still rookies there. And still rookies there, so no, nothing happening there. Can I? I can't rename them. Fine. I might have to turn the music down slightly. This is Congratulations, a bit loud. Commander. But we still have work to do. All right. To access a mission briefing, select it from the strategy index, or click on the mission. So that's one. Uh, from the strategy index, you can manage your fleet's view, missions, briefings, and find locations. So, chapter 2, Athena. Okay. So, yeah, let's bring that down a little bit. Uh, nothing else is selectable. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the tough job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. So, the FTL drive faster than light drive for the Jupiter class battle star Athena is not yet complete. Cylon cleanup crews are expected at the LZ, but reports show most of the assault fleets have already left the area. Okay. So, requires the presence of the Daedalus at the mission marker. So, click on that. Fleet Group Daedalus. Our ships took a few hits during that fight. 
We should have the crew do some repairs before we move on. Okay, so... Repair fleets... It costs us two. That's fine. That's totally fine. Can I... I can't rename them. Fine. Uh, fleet group Daedalus, 1,000 to 4,000 points. Uh, then that's the Corvette. Okay. I can't build ships just yet, so... I'm thinking... We're ready to jump. Uh, select Pycon from the map and confirm your jump command. Confirm jump. So what are these up here? Caprica, Geminon, Pycon, Tauran, Leonis, Virgon, Libran, Sagittarion, Scorpio, Aerolon, Anquia and or Canceron. So they're all star signs. Okay, that makes sense. So in turn, is there anything else to do? No. Just click on that. Let's proceed. I didn't read some of that text. Whoopsie. So I don't know how long each chapter is. Um, I don't want to make the videos too long. So we'll see. We'll see if we can complete chapter two. And then go from there. So these are our three things. Click, click on a unit projections to reposition your fleet during FTL insertion. Orbit the FTL insertion grid by. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's just fine. And I think it will make Prepare more... Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump it'll, complete. It'll make more Greatest sense. Greatest contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 okay. colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. So yes. The the fleet will make or that setup will make more sense when we get more of a fleet later on, I'd say. So say we all. Alright, let's have you come across Onic, there. Maybe. We have two targets. I want to hit them at the same time if I so can. So say we all. With everything. That's as fast as I'm so getting say we you. All. So uh, also, can I zoom in? Yes. So it is 3D. I can move up and down the planar space uh, to avoid contact basically to so we don't ram ships although maybe that would be fun um, that's the shipyard has that got anything that has got ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy commander adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter so say we all Okay, so posture. A defensive posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. So we gain more fire control, 121% more fire control strength. Whereas this one... We lose some navigation, but we gain more tech bay and armory. And engineering. Until Brace get, for impact! Unless we get until we get into position, let's go a bit defensive, shall we? Yes, sir. So posture. Emergency defensive. cruiser on standby. You 
Actually, no, you're going to protect from the other one. And you can go full defensive. Do you have... We do have squadrons. Okay. Is it worth firing flak straight away? No. I don't think it is. Uh, flak will help with anti-missiles and anti-fighters. But for the moment, I don't even know what we're fighting. This guy's way out there, actually. So there's a Talon class thingy. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Okay, so let's... Actually, no. Moving them like that. Oops. On it, Commander. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that secondary yes, movement. Okay, I need to unselect all of them. So yeah, have you go there. And can I fire missiles? Not with you, because it won't let me at the moment. And you're going to head on more over this yes, way. Sir. Again, I can't do anything there. So let's go here, press space. And yeah, you can come over this way. Uh, let's launch Launching all, alert vipers. all of them. So they're not out just yet. That's fine. Can I fire missiles? Understood. I can. You two got missiles. Munitions fire at them. Cool. So that's all working. Ooh, we're being hacked. That's what that means, we're being hacked. Oh, there's a third ship. Okay, it's a nemesis. Missiles incoming! Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Um, so, defend, select targets. Yes, have you... Go there. Select target. Squadron target is confirmed. Right, I think I may have already done this one. No, nope, there we go. So they're all going there. And uh, you don't have flak, annoyingly. It's only this one that does. So you need to go full defensive. Emergency cruiser on standby. To brace and uh, it doesn't need repairs. Fine. Anything else? Turrets. So this is where we need to focus fire on this guy. Yeah. In fact. Just select everything. Cancel target. Focus fire on that one. There we go. You're being hacked. Uh, I think you need to go defensive as well then. To protect against being hacked. Brace for impact. Uh, fire control. Firewall at 29. I don't know if I can boost that in any other way. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Okay, so that's the last one. Ah, right. So focus fire on that guy. Is there anything else you can do? There's squadrons. Launch yes, all. So they're launching, okay. Let's have you go defensive for the moment. Everyone's on the defensive. Turrets out of range, basically. Fine. You're sorted. You...
both going to swing around this way to get a good firing run on this guy. I know this guy's still alive, but we got fighters and this guy coming in. So hopefully... Hopefully... We'll get some damage on both of these guys. He's getting hit, but not hit hard enough. Ooh, little... Th is that... Ah, okay, so you need to... Let me get the option to. Uh, flak on the right side. Awesome. And do we need to repair anything? No. No, we're good. So, launchers are working. Let's go after you. You're all still fighting this guy. Yes, sir. You hopefully will fire backwards still. Let's see if they do. Doesn't look like they are. A battle star is being hacked. Two of them are actually. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battle stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Hey, I've already done that. Cancel flak. So I've got to redo it now. Yeah, on that side. That's fine. And fire missiles there. Turrets. Cancel target. Focus fire on that guy. There we go. So we've got a bit of a stern chase going on here, which is good. Yes, Commander. We can focus fire on his butt, basically, his aft. How's this guy going on? He's still there. Let's uh, try and go for an intercept there. We should be good there. Missiles incoming! Yeah, we can't defend them against those. Manticore is taking damage. Uh, okay, left side needs a lot of repair. So fire control is down. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. And yeah, let's slow down a little bit. And just yeah, the rear and top is very much broken on this guy. Left side is okay. So what we're gonna do is come around that way. And protect it a little bit. Done. Fire control is being repaired. Okay, so we can't actually fire much at the moment there. You're good. Uh, most of the armor's gone on this guy, which is very helpful, but... Okay, so once we've got this guy down, our fighters are going to come... Actually, no. What we're going to do is bring our fighters. Target this guy. Hopefully, you can finish off that guy. Right. End turn. 
There is the other guy by the s fire base station. Is taking fire. Oh yeah, I launched these two. Whoopsie, I forgot about those two. Sir, PyCon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKinley was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we all. Yep. That's the... Uh, we're fighting around right now. Uh, right, my... Two things here. Need to start softening up this guy. So attack here. Do you have... You don't have anything. Repairs? You don't need any repairs. Not your... You're good there at the moment. Posture turrets. No, nope, it's fine. So, how's this squadron? The squadron, that squadron's nearly done. You're nearly done. Now, the left side is completely gone, but. Ooh, they swung around. Yeah, let's uh, do that. See if we can intercept there. I want to actually dive down to meet them. Understood. There we go. Do we have missiles? We do have missiles. Let's. Uh, Missiles on their way. Go for them. Uh, we can't fire them. Um, guided missiles are being reloaded. Okay. Right, go boom, please. You're going boom. That guy is... The squadron's gone. Daedalus is taking damage. Alright, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to pull you out of the fight. Let's boost your thrusters to get you really far away. And how do you go that way? I think I want to boost your thrusters. Doesn't make much difference on you, admittedly. Yes, end turn. You are pulling away. Missiles barely hit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back and hit this guy whilst we're repairing our ship. Uh, is that still going? Missiles. Uh, we still can't fire them. That's fine. On it, Commander. I need to... Boost that. Done. So that's everyone boosted. Right, that's you. You are starting to take damage. Okay. So let's uh, repair... There? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you are looking very broken. Uh, yeah, let's select everything there. Let's focus fire. Not on that guy. On this guy. Because by the time that guy comes back to us, we will be... Engage in this guy and the station can help us out. There we go. Done. Uh, one was unable to follow command because we are still repairing. That's fine though. 
He's going in the right direction. That's all that matters. And I need flak on you to intercept these missiles in a second. More missiles coming in over there. So, flak. Armory offline. Oh. Well, that sucks. Um, armory. Done. So that one was what broken. Okay. Uh, right and rear is broken there. We're still defensive. Squadrons are launched. So there's not much I can do there. Apart from hurry up and get into the fight again. Missiles incoming. Yeah. Subsystem is back online. Right. Yeah, we're getting hit hard. Can we? No, we can't fire missiles there. Oh, your rear is broken. That's not good. Right, so. Uh, let's get fire control. Oh, the armory. Let's get the armory. No repairs needed. Well, there clearly is. Fine. It's not broken enough just yet. Uh, is this... Oh, is he gone? I think... So, yes, that's why the fighters pulled back. So this guy's gone. Good. So, now everyone, focus fire on this guy. I was hoping that we would be closer to the star base, but hey. Manticore is taking damage. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn everyone around. That would help. That would indeed help. But actually, having them out of the fight at the moment is probably a good thing. Okay. Need to get closer to see where I'm going. And yes, Commander. Let's do that. Do that. And you... Can do that right missiles away i don't know if anyone else has missiles that are going to be in range but hey we'll sort that out in a second what is beeping everyone's beeping oh missiles incoming yeah flak hopefully we can fire armor is being repaired no well, that's shit. Um, posture. Oh, I can't even do that. No. That's that's that sucks. Um, yeah. Missiles incoming. Yeah, we're gonna take some damage here. Okay, that guy's gone. That, those are the last missiles we took. Then, Dreadus is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Okay. Let's uh, see what the problems are. Uh, but that... Admiral, Commander, we have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. 
The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up Yards 1 and 2 for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Okay, so I'm going to build some ships, and then we're going to call this video here. So... Let's see what we can build. A Manticore Corvette. Takes two turns. Um, we shall build it. Okay. We've got the Manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Let's rush it. That takes more tibium. Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Just like that, we've got a new ship. Uh, new units will create their own fleets when finished, and you can, and can be merged with existing fleets with group at the same location. Use the strategy index to select your new corvette and merge it with the f group Daedalus. Okay, let's quickly do that. Transfer to there. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Okay, so that mission we're going to do next time round. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first video. I will probably try and make it a weekly video to begin with. Um, depending on how quickly I can get everything else recorded for the Rogue Tech and MacWarrior 5 series is that I have. So that I don't overwhelm myself basically. But yes, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time for some more toaster hunting.